Hello students, I am Ishan Trivedi. Welcome you in the video lecture series. Today I am going to discuss about the example of multiple linear regression analysis. Let us have a problem statement. Here the table shows the data for vehicular trips per day as related to the income and the person in the household for one zone of the study area. Develop the trip generation equation and find which model is more reliable. In this table, you will find the dependent variable that is y, which denotes the trip per days. And there are two independent variables. There is income in thousand that is x1 and x2 is the person in household. Here, the number of sample are 5. What we have to understand here that how would I get to know that here I have to apply the multiple linear regression analysis. Here you have to develop total three regression analysis and three relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. The first is the relationship between trips per day with the income in thousand and second relationship is that trip per day which is related to the person in household and third relationship is that dependent variable with these two independent variable which includes the income and the person in the household and I will associate both the independent variable with this linear equation. So first I will discuss about y is equal to a1 plus b1 x1 then second relation will be y is equal to a2 plus b2 x2 and third I will develop the equation of y is equal to a3 plus b3 x1 plus b4 x2. Here above of all these three I have to check the correlation coefficient r value and then I will come to a conclusion that which of these three equation is reliable means that dependent variable y is suitable with both the variable or either of these two. So let us first distribute these trips and have solution. So here we have three basic things that is income in thousand that is x1 then person in household x2 and trips per day y. In multiple linear regression analysis we have correlation with x1 y then x2 y x1 x2 then x1 square and x2 square. So this type of multiple multiplication with the different parameters and the within the parameter itself will be computed. So here the value is x1 square x2 square x1 x2 x1 y x2 y and the y square. This type of data will be required so I will multiply here with individual and the same factor. So ultimately what I'll get, I'll get the table which represent that header value that is of x1 square, x2 square, x1, x2, x1, y, x2, y and y square. Now I will make the summation of all these here. I will make the summation of all these data entries. Then I will get the final value that is sigma x1 is 716 sigma x2 is 30 sigma y 21 sigma x1 square that is 125208 x2 square is 200 then sigma x1 x2 is 4914 then sigma x1 y is 3288 sigma x2 y is 137 and at last sigma y square is equal to 97. Make sure here you will write the correct digit at correct place so that the, your calculation and table may not go wrong and you will get only true values. For further calculation I will just make a table of the header and the final sigma value which are important for the application of equation and from this I will put those values for desirable or suitable equations. So first is the equation that is y is equal to a1 plus b1 x1. Here for this relationship that is 
the relationship of trips per day y with the income in thousand so i will develop a regression or you can say linear regression analysis for this y1 model so for that i have to find out the additive constant and multiplying constant that is a1 and b1 respectively so first i will find out the multiplying constant that is b1 is equal to n into sigma xi yi minus sigma xi into sigma yi upon n sigma xi square minus sigma xi whole raised to square here i will put the value of n that is 5 sigma xi is 716 sigma yi is again that is 21 then summation of xi and yi that is here for one category it is 3288 so do not make mistake or while writing these values here i am developing the equation for x1 so you have to write down the values regarding x1 only so again i am repeating here the x1 value is 716 then x2 that i don't need so i will skip it then again i require y value here the y value is the dependent variable so there is no any other categories like y1 y2 we have only y so i will take the value of y that is 21 then again i will take the value of x1 square that is uh, 1,25,208 and for another value that is x1 y that is 3288 i am repeating so that you won't make any mistake and you will get those details easily so ultimately here the n is 5 again sigma xi yi that is 3288 then sigma xi that is 716 sigma yi 21 divided by n again that is 5 value then you will find the sigma xi square that is 125208 now here it is sigma xi whole raised to square so you have to make this sigma value that is 716 whole raised to square and as you further calculate you will get the answer that is 0 0.012 i get the value of 0 0.012 for b1 now i will find out the x bar value that is sigma xi upon n here i am talking about x1 only so i will write the sigma x1 upon m for this sigma x1 is 716 upon 5 that is my number of sample size that is 5 so i will get the x bar value similarly i will calculate the y bar value here it is 21 upon 5 and i will get the answer now from this i will find out the additive constant that is a is equal to here the a1 is equal to y1 bar minus b1 into x1 bar this we have learned from the simple linear regression analysis so this example or the, this initial stage is just a revision of those examples now from this you will get the a1 value that is 2.48 i have just put those desirable value that i have calculated that is b1 value x1 bar value and the y1 bar value now from this i have generated the trip generation equation that is y is equal to a1 plus b1 into x1 and that equation is y is equal to 2.48 plus 0 0.012 into x1 now i had to validate this equation and for that i have to calculate the correlation coefficient and that is our r value and you know that r value equation that is n sigma xi yi minus sigma xi into sigma yi upon under root of n sigma xi square minus sigma xi whole raised to square then into n sigma yi square minus whole raised to sigma yi square so in this again you have to just put the value of x1 and y only and you will get the desired answer so by putting those values that is n again that is phi sigma xi 3288 then sigma xi that is 716 into sigma yi 21 
upon here the n value is 5 sigma xi square which is available that is 1 2 5 3 2 0 8 that is also written here sigma xi whole raised to square that is again 7 1 6 whole raised to square into phi into 97 that is sigma y square that is available here here that is 95 97 value then minus 21 square by simplifying this you will get the answer of 0 0.628 i'll just keep it as it is now i will develop another relationship between the trips per day that is our dependent variable and the independent variable that is x2 and that is persons in household now i will just continue with those values that we have calculated that is x1 x2 y x1 square x2 square x1 x2 then x1 y x2 y and y square now our equation is y2 is equal to a2 plus b2 into x2 now again i will calculate the multiplying constant that is b value and for b2 i will imply the equation again that is n sigma xi yi minus sigma xi sigma yi upon n sigma x square minus sigma xi's whole raised to square now here instead of xi i will put the values of x2 and co related values that is x2 square then x2 y value and we have that y common that is y square value and the y value so by putting those values in this b2 equation that n is again 5 then sigma x 2 y and that value is 137 minus sigma x 2 here it is 30 and sigma y will remain same that is 21 upon then n sigma x i square n is 5 sigma x 2 square that we have 200 minus sigma x i that means sigma x 2 whole raised to square so here i have to calculate the sigma x 2 that is 30 square and i will get the b2 value that is 0.55 now i have to find out the additive constant and for that i need two values that is x2 bar and y2 bar and for that i will simply calculate x2 bar that is sigma x2 upon n sigma x2 is here 30 divided by 5 i'll get the answer 6 and similarly for y2 bar it will remain same as we have calculated earlier that is sigma y2 upon n 21 upon 5 i'll get 4.2 now putting these values in additive constant equation that is a2 is equal to y2 bar minus b2 into x2 bar by putting these values what i'll get i'll get the value of a2 that is 0.9 again we have this trip generation equation y is equal to a2 plus b2 x2 by putting this value i will get the trip generation equation y is equal to 0.9 plus 0.55 into x2 now i have to validate this equation and for that again i will find out the coefficient of correlation between this person in household and the trips per day so again i will calculate the r value and here instead of x1 that we have done in previous case now i have calculated n sigma x2 y minus sigma x2 into into sigma y upon n sigma x2 square minus sigma x2 whole raised to square into n sigma y square minus sigma y whole raised to square by putting those desirable value i'll calculate the r here n is again phi sigma x2 y that is 137 minus sigma xi then here it is x2 then it is 30 into 21 that is our y value upon n into sigma x 2 square and here x 2 square is 200 
So 5 into 200 minus xi whole raised to square. So here I have to calculate the sigma xi value and that is 30 whole raised to square into 5 into 97 minus 21. This one is as it is that y values. By simplifying this, I will calculate the r value and that is 0.829. Now I will keep it as it is. Now third relation that independent variable of income in thousand and the person in household have relationship between this dependent variable y and for that I will further compute all these equations. For this I will compute the regression equation that is y3 is equal to a3 plus b3x1 plus b4x2. So for that I have told you that 12 equation you have to remember here and from this table itself you will get those values you have to just put it in those desired equation first equation is sigma dash x1 y here you can see and which is, is equal to sigma x1 y minus sigma x1 into sigma y upon n here why i am using sigma dash because i am developing another equation or summation for these two variables that is b3 and b4 and associated variable is x1 and x2 respectively and for that i have to make another summation and that is given in those 12 equation and among all those 12 i am just computing one and you have to calculate those equations as well so let us coming to our uh, equation so i'll just put those values here sigma x1 y is nothing but 3 to double 8 minus sigma x1 that we have 716 and y value is 97 upon number of sample that is 5 simplifying these i will get the answer that is 280.8 second is sigma dash x2 square I have the value of x2 but there is no relation that is independent but here I am finding the values which are associated with b3 and b4 value that's why we are calculating it again and that's why I am using this sigma dash again. This equation is sigma x2 square minus sigma x2 whole raised to square upon n by simplifying here the sigma x2 is nothing but 200 you can see here minus sigma x2 whole raised to square means 30 square upon 5 by simplifying I am getting the answer that is 20. Again next equation is sigma x1 x2 that sigma x dash x1 x2 is equal to sigma x1 x2 minus sigma x1 into sigma x2 upon n by putting those values means sigma x1 x2 that is 4914 uh, minus the sigma x1 value that is 716 into 30 divided by 5 by computing i will get the answer that is 618 now next equation is sigma x1 square which is, is equal to sigma x1 square minus sigma x1 whole raised to square upon n for computing this what i'll get i'll get the answer that is 22676.8 now again sigma dash x2y which is, is equal to sigma x2y minus sigma x2 into sigma y upon n by computing these I will get the answer 11. Now you have to compute the x1 bar value that is sigma x1 upon n that is 716 upon 5 we have computed this that answer is 143.2 now x2 bar that is sigma x2 upon n again we have calculated this the answer is 6 and the y bar value that is sigma y upon n that is 4.2 now i will compute the multiplying constant value that is b3 and b4 for b3 we have equation that you have to remember here the respective equation for multiple linear regression analysis for b3 value you have to remember this equation by putting the desirable or suitable value in this equation and by simplifying this, I will get the answer that is 
minus 0 0.0165. Now for before value, again I will put that equation and for this suitable equation I will put the suitable numbers from this table and the derived equations from these numbers and by simplifying this I will get the answer that is 1.06. Now by getting this multiplying constant I will compute the additive constant again which is a3 is equal to y bar minus b3 x1 bar minus b4 x2 bar. Here by putting those suitable value for y bar it is 4.2 minus b3 it is minus 0 0.0165 into 143.2 minus b4 is 1.06 into 6. By putting this and by calculating I will get the answer that is 0 0.203. Now I will put this value in the equation that is y is equal to a3 plus b3 x1 plus b4 x2. This trip generation equation I will just put those values and I will get the final trip generation equation that is y is equal to 0 0.203 minus 0 0.0165 x1 minus 1.06 x2. Now for validation of these I will find out the correlation of coefficient that is r value. You have to remember this equation as well. And from this equation by putting those suitable numbers which we have computed then by this you will find out the correlation here. You do not require to put those sigma dash value here. I will put the value of sigma only that is shown in this table. And by putting this value I will find out the correlation of coefficient r value and that is 0.798. So we have computed total 3 r value among of all these we have the maximum value of second iteration or you can say second relation that is the person in household with the trips per day. And the second equation that is y is equal to a2 plus b2 x2 means y is equal to 0 0.9 plus 0 0.55 x2 has the coefficient of correlation r value that is 0 0.829 which is the biggest indication of the strong relationship between these variables. So here I am validating the equation that is y is equal to 0 0.9 plus 0 0.55 x2 that is our second relationship between trips per day and the person in the household. So I am ending this session here. I hope you have learned regarding the example of multiple linear regression analysis. Thanks for watching this video.